this video I will show you how to get the dispersion diagram of a face centered cube lattice uh, or some of you called it hexagonal lattice and uh, specifically I choose this example from the book uh, photonic crystal molding flow of the light so our unit cell is basically a face centered cube lattice as shown on the right here where this sphere actually are air so they have epsilon of one and the surrounding of this sphere uh, uh, is um, a high dielectric material with epsilon equal 13. The radius of each sphere is a divided by square root over 8, uh, square root 8, uh, where a, as you see here, is a um, unit cell uh, lattice length. And for this particular choice of r, a divided by square root a, uh, the spheres as you see they are touching but actually in console i will not model it like this because it will take like a very long time so i will choose a smaller value of r uh, and multiplying this value actually by some factor like 0.95 or something like this so the first thing to get the dispersion diagram is to define the reciprocal lattice vectors and for this structure actually it's very hard to imagine but uh, I found some nice website that provide you with the reciprocal lattice vector in 3d and also the symmetry points of brilliant zones um, additionally they define for example gamma X L W U K which are the vertices of the brilliant zone and they define them explicitly in the XYZ plane which is very important for us to model in console so for example here here the point x has kx 0 and ky 2 pi over a and kz equal to 0. in addition to that this website also give you the length of uh, of each edge edge on this brilliant zone so for example for example from gamma to l the length is square root 3 times pi divided by a and actually you can calculate it here from uh, the relation that give you the length between two vertices in the 3D space. So what I will do in console, as I said uh, in the previous two videos, that I will define a small parameter, a small uh, letter k, for example, here, such that when k changes from 0 to 0.707, and this value is actually 1 divided by square root 2 but I write it explicitly here because it will make uh, make it make it easier in, co in, in console implementation so when k changes from 0 to 0 0.707 this is swap for all the vectors on the edge of the brilliant zone divide, defined by x u so this one here and when k changes from 0 0.707 to 1.902 changes from u to l and so on and from l to gamma and from gamma to x and from x to w and from w to k uh, why i choose this particular value of k here because i need to plot a dispersion diagram exactly similar to this so as you see here the length of x to u is different from u to l, from l to gamma, and, and so on. So what I did is to calculate the length of x u band from this relation here. So I get the norm of the vector x u, and similarly for u l, and for l gamma, and so on. Then I just take a common factor, and I define the length here, the length here, the length here, and finally, I know already the length of each band on the uh, edge on the brilliant zone so I know that the length of k to span all the vectors from x u edge of the brilliant zone should should has this length 0 0.707 so here I changed k from 0 to 0 0.707 to get this x u band for u l band I know the length should be 1.22 uh, 
but also the U, the U point start at 0 0.707. So I add 0 0.707 to 1.22, which gives me 1.902. So the K swaps from 0 0.707 to 1.902 and so on. The last thing before uh, going to console and implementing this dispersion diagram, uh, we need to show what is the difference between a conventional unit cell, which is this one on the left here, and the primitive unit cell uh, on the right here. The conventional is on the left. So as you see here, the primitive unit cell, which is uh, drawn by this uh, shadowed green uh, color, is actually fourth, has volume fourth of the total volume of the conventional unit cell. And actually what we should implement in COMSOL is a primitive unit cell because if you implement the all conventional unit cell, this means that you already take four primitive unit cells into account. So the, you will see some band folding in your dispersion diagram and you will never get a dispersion diagram similar to this. You will have some band folding. So for example, these two bands and these two bands come in the middle here and so on. So what I will do in console actually is to show you how to create such a unit cell. Given that I already know the vertices of this, uh, the index of vertices of this primitive unit cell. So I define point one here, at this one, point two, this one, three, four, and again, five, for five, I should start from the same location. I started at one, six, seven, eight. So the point one has zero and zero and zero for X, Y, Z. Point two has zero, A divided by two, A divided by two. And you can actually drive this um, indices from uh, your primitive unit cell uh, length. And then the second thing in console I will show you how to calculate the dispersion diagram based on this implementation here. So I will show you how to define this k such that when k have any value console will automatically know which band it is.